Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I am Kristen, also known as Lovely Kristen. I am an upcoming first year teacher teaching kindergarten. So yeah guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be taking you guys along as I go look in as many stores as I possibly can today um, for just storage stuff for my classroom, like bins, different things like that. I also want to look for a bookshelf not really looking for school supplies because i want to wait and see what my school gives me first and yeah so i will be taking you guys along excuse the step stool the ladder thing in the back we are about to go ahead and head out i'm with my brother and my mom today so yeah <music> So, so far I haven't seen much in here. I did see a couple things that I could use for flexible seating, but I'm already getting flexible seating. So I pass on those, but I do see this little cute rainbow pillow. So I'm thinking about getting this to put in my chair in the calm corner. So yeah, I think I'm gonna get this. It's only $15. So still in big lots. I think I'm gonna get this instead of the rainbow pillow that I just showed you guys because this is gonna be for my calm corner. And I just feel like this blue goes perfect with the posters that I'm gonna put in that section. And then I just feel like with the rainbow, since it's like real colorful and bright, I just want that area to be kind of like calm and not too, too much. And when I show you guys the posters, it'll make sense. Hey guys, so it is a couple days later. We went shopping for my classroom on Friday and it's currently Sunday, but I did wanna go ahead and sit down and show you guys everything that I have purchased for my classroom so far. A couple things I actually got prior to filming this video that I will show you guys first. So all of those things are from Walmart, the section, the Walmart dollar section. So similar to Target, but for Walmart. And so I will start with those things first and then I'll show you things that I got during this vlog, which was like things from Target, Michaels, and then we went to Dollar Tree, but I didn't film us in Dollar Tree because I was just trying to figure out if I wanted to get those things or not. And I wasn't sure. I ended up getting a couple, well, actually a few supply bins that I don't think I'm gonna keep. I'm actually gonna return those things. Oh, and I forgot we did go into big lots as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys everything that we got so far. Yes, I'm in a hat again because your girl has been loving hats lately just because I'm just overdoing my hair and I need a protective style like ASAP. So I'm just gonna be rocking my hats for a little minute until I can figure out what I wanna do with my hair because again, I'm just over it. Plus I'm a hats girl, like I love hats. So it's okay. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I got from Walmart are these reward erasers, which I thought would be perfect for our class dojo store. So there are 32 in each and they say ages five plus. So I thought these were perfect for kindergarten. So I have the apples here. I have the crayons and then the rainbow. So I just got three packs of those because again, there are 32 in each and I thought these would be perfect for our rewards. Then um, what else? 
Also got this locker mirror from Walmart, which I thought was perfect for an affirmation station. I had been telling my mom that I didn't want like a full size mirror or anything, just something small for kindergarten that they can look into. It says ages five plus on it. And I know it's not in the pack. I will insert a picture so you guys can see what it looks like. And it says stay positive going around it. And I love it. Um, I think it's perfect for an affirmation station. It does have a magnet on it. So I was able to easily stick it on my whiteboard. But I got to thinking that I'm already using my whiteboard for so many other things. So I may just stick it on the wall and just have our affirmation station be on the wall. But I did think that it was very convenient that I was able to put it on my whiteboard as an option as well. And then the last, well, not the last. Um, so I also got these dry erase pockets. So I got three of each color. You know, obviously these are great for small groups, you know, centers, you can never have too many dry erase pockets. So did want to pick up a few of those. And then I got this chalk. I think it ended up being like 87 cents a pack. So I got like four packs of these. They each have 20 pieces in them because you have to have chalk for kindergarten, right? So yeah, so that's everything that I got from Walmart. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just show you the one thing that I got from Big Lots, which I filmed it. I got this pillow. I thought this would be perfect for our calm down corner, but um, as I was looking at the posters, I realized it doesn't really match the way I would want it to. So I may be returning this. It was only $11. It's cute, but like I said, it doesn't really match the posters the way I want it to. And so we'll see the color is a little bit off but everything doesn't have to be matching matchy i know but still <laughs> and then moving along to target i got more dry erase pockets so some blue ones black ones and purple ones because you can never have enough of those and then i got so all this stuff that i'm about to show you right now was in the target dollar spot section so I got these flashcards. I got the colors and shapes. I got the alphabet ones. And then I got the addition ones. So yes, I need to go back and look to see if I can see more of those because they just come in handy for extra practice if I'm working one-on-one -on -one with a student or even if I'm working with a group of students at my teacher, a group of students at my teacher table. And of course, I got 10 of these, so there are four in here. So 10 of these hashtag blocks because everybody wants the hashtag blocks, right? So yes, I got these for my stem bands, which I told you guys what I plan to use, um, the shelf that I plan to use for my stem bands slash morning tubs. And so I'm gonna need quite a bit of things to fill that up. And so I definitely wanted the hashtag blocks. And then I got these trays here, which I thought were perfect. So I actually need one more because I got to thinking about it and I do want one for when my kids come in in the morning and I'm gonna have a shelf for them to put their lunch boxes for those of them who have lunch boxes. And then on top of the shelf would be one of these for them to put their daily communication folders in. And so I need one more of these because I do plan to use two of them. So like one for my turn in band and then one for my pickup band. So like if I have early finishers, so when they're turning their paper, then they can pick up something else to do. So that's how I plan to use these two. And like I said, I need one more for my students to have somewhere to put their daily communication folders. What else did I get? So I guess I can go ahead and show you guys these book bands that I got. So I actually ended up getting 12 of these for my classroom library. And I was debating if I wanted colored bands or if I just wanted all white bands or even like the clear bands. And I decided to get the all white ones. I just love how clean they look. And I just, I just love the look of the all white ones. And so, yeah, if I want to add a little bit of color, you know, of course, books will be colorful, right? Books come in all different colors. But then I can add like colored labels depending on how I choose to categorize my classroom library. So like I said, I ended up getting 12 of these. If I need more, I'll pick up more, but uh, 12 I think is a good start, especially because I'm still growing my classroom library as a first year teacher. Also got these blocks that I thought were perfect for like small group whenever we're like, um, 
blending words and things like that. So they're perfect for a spelling. You can see it's given an example. So I was thinking how I could use them is say if we're like practicing spelling and blending CBC words, then I could tell my students to write the first sound they hear, the second sound or the middle sound, and then the last sound and then the word. So it'll be C-A-T and then cat. So we'll sound it, sound it out and then we'll blend it and um, say the word. So yeah, I thought that that would be perfect for that. I only got one of those. Um, I wish I would have gotten more. I may go back and see if they have more. Uh, but I thought that that was really neat. And then I got these puzzle blocks. So I thought these were perfect for centers as well. I got the numbers and then I got the letters. Now I have seen the ones that were just the letters without the pictures and I really wish they had those, but they only had the ones with the letters and the pictures. It'll be fine, they'll work just as good, but I love with the numbers, I love that it also has like the addition and subtraction symbol, the equal sign. Obviously we won't be doing division and multiplication in kindergarten, but I thought that these would be perfect for if, for obviously number recognition, but then also for adding and subtraction as well. I found a resource on TPT that would be really good to use with the numbers. I'm still looking for one for using the letters. I'll let you guys know what I find. So that is everything. I did get a bookshelf from Target. I'm getting confused because my mom ordered me a shelf off of Amazon that my kids can use for their lunch boxes. So I'll show you guys that one. And then I also got a bookshelf from Target as well. But I'm actually gonna have to return it because my bands are kind of hanging off of it and I don't want them hanging off the shelf. Um, so they just need to be, the, sh the shelves need to be a little bit wider so that the bands can fit a little bit better on them. So yeah, I'm gonna end up returning that um, more than likely. And that is everything that I got from Target. So now let's get into the stuff that I got from Michaels. So first, let's start with, cause there's something that I'm missing that is not over here. I forgot to grab it. But first let's start with this 100 Acts of Kindness poster. I am obsessed. I love it so much. It also, so it's two in one, um, two pieces, yeah. And so it also comes with this, I don't know why I'm holding it like that. This poster that says being kind is uplifting. I may not use this one. Um, I just really like this one. That's the main reason why I got it. And so I thought that this would be really fun to put up on the wall. And every time a student is being kind, um, they can go fill in one of the hearts. And by however long it takes for us to fill this up, then we'll do a kindness celebration for the um, entire class. So I thought that this was really cute and I'm so excited to use it in my class. Hold please while I go get the task card boxes that I wanna show you guys that I got from Michaels. So here they are guys. I was trying to decide between the clear ones or the color ones and I ultimately decided to just get the clear ones, but um, they were on sale for $20. So I was like, that is great. There are 16 that come in here. I feel like I'm gonna need another set because I do plan to use these for both my stem bands and for centers. For stem bands, I really want the kids to challenge themselves. So I'm thinking about including challenge cards in some of them so that they'll really you know, get creative and think outside of the box. And so um, I plan to use these for both. So I'm definitely probably gonna need another set. So I need to go back to Michael's while they're still on sale. But yeah, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys these and now I will also show you the tinder cart that I got from Michaels as well. And then the shelf that my mom got for me from Amazon that the kids can use for their lunch boxes. So I'm going to show you guys that. And then I'll also show you the bookshelf from Target that I'm going to return. I'll be back. Okay guys, so here is the shelf that my mom bought for the kids to put their lunch boxes on. So this is what it looks like. And the tray that I was talking about would just sit up here. And then here is my lovely tendril cart that I love so much. Here's the bookshelf. I really wish I could keep it, but um, you know, I can't. Also, I was gonna get two of them if I needed, if I ended up needing two, but I was just gonna see how one was gonna work first and go from there because obviously I'm still growing my 
the library. But just wanted to show you guys this real quick. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. That is everything that I wanted to show you in this video. Stay tuned for my Amazon wish list haul that's coming very soon. Um, so I think I'm about to actually run out to go to Target to return everything that I need to return. And I also want to pick up more of those hashtag blocks. I just want to make sure that there's enough for a table, you know, in the morning. I don't want there to be too little of anything. So I'm going to go and pick up at least 10 more of those because I have 10 already, 10 packs. So I'm going to pick up 10 more. And I also want to get an even amount of those dry erase pockets. Is anybody else like this? Like, I'll have four kids at each table, so I want to make sure that they'll each have the same color. Weird, I know, but that's just how my mind works, my Virgo mind. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. All of your support means the world to me. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys back here next time. Mwah.